<laughs> oh, she's pissed. Oh, he's wasted. Oh, no. Tighten up. Oh! No, she didn't. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> She regret that. What's crazy is that even if she connected on that slap, it would have been something that would have been socially tolerated. But imagine a place where that's a young woman coming into an establishment drunk and the man looks at her, reaches back, gives her the five fingers of death. Pow! But oh, how privileged you are because imagine a society where a man responds with physical violence to his insubordinate wife. What I'm not saying is that I advocate for, but just parting out some of the double standards in society today. Even looked like some of the homegirls was in on it as well. This is a core secret to a successful relationship, marriage logic map. Two inputs, Don and Laura, my wife, Laura. Okay, if I'm wrong and Laura's right, this is a really easy one. Laura's right, that's simple, thank you very much. <laughs> that one seemed obvious to me. Believe it or not, from here, it gets complicated. Okay, if we're both right, it doesn't matter. Laura's right. Thank you very much. That's the key. I would rather be happy than be right. That's what I'm... If I'm right and Laura's wrong, doesn't matter. Laura's still right. And if we're both wrong, uh, Donna's wrong. I'd rather be happy than right. It's wild to me listening to all the people clap in the audience as if this is something to be proud of. Meanwhile, this is the mathematic formulation to toxicity. The crowd laughs because both men and women in the audience know exactly what it is that he's talking about. Happy wife, happy life. But normalizing shit like this is a component to the fall of the modern man in society today. When she doesn't get her way, she throws a tantrum like a child. So it is the man's obligation to mature himself through that conversation and say, I'd rather be happy than correct. So I'll let her be right. And it's actually sad that women find this funny as well, because what this essentially is saying is, is that women act like children. Men have to thereby be the mature person in the relationship and let it go, giving the grown ass child what she wants, her need to be right. But guess what? That has never worked for children and it damn sure won't work for a woman in a relationship that is to respect you. Empty Army, listen to me right now. We must continue to reject this narrative. Our future sons depend on it. Should you really have a backup plan? There is new research that shows half of all women have a guy on the back burner just in case things go wrong in their current relationship. Physician and national mindful living expert, Dr. Romy Mushtaq is here to talk more about that. Doc That's absolutely crazy. Research shows that more than half of all women have a backup boyfriend, which was an ex or an old friend. Half sounds crazy. 100% sounds more accurate. Let go. Dr. Romy, seriously? Good morning, Tom. I know. And I come on, like this sounds positively guy. Guy, doesn't it? And I have to sit here and defend all of us women, but this is the <laughs> latest psychology research. I was just as shocked reading this data. More than half of women who are married and categorize themselves as happily Wait, married. Wait, married? They're married. Happily married happily women are doing this? Have a backup plan. And what is a backup plan? It means you have someone on the back burner. So like a specific person a they've specific identified. A specific person that they've identified. And in most cases, it was either an ex-boyfriend or an old friend who never made it to the dating category. Get out of town. Unfortunately, yes. And, and the problem is, is social media has just made it too easy to have such a type of behavior. Right, so I know you're here to say though, yes. watch out because this Absolutely. is anything but good. It is, I agree. The real reason why this happens so much is due to the biology of women. See, our biology hasn't caught up to modern times. See, back before civilized culture, back before laws, back before law enforcement, if a woman was to lose access to her protector, well, her chances of death are that much more significant. So the women that had the 
genetic makeup for the proclivity to attach themselves to a man generally passed on more DNA from generation to generation. So was any of this a surprise? Biologically speaking, no, you, you could think of their ability to be able to do this. Men, we think of this shit as heartless, but them being able to do that is really a life insurance plan. But as men, we don't get mad at it. We just understand that this nature exists. And as long as we have the information about it, then we can more correctly make decisions on what to do about it. That's why it's so dangerous to be a completely blue pill, rose colored glasses man in modern society today. I mean, well, I ain't gonna ask you that. You a lady. I can't even Thank put them you. kind of I questions on you. I yeah, appreciate yeah, that. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, I just know what I'm looking at. What yeah, you looking at? at? Uh, uh, something that's good. Yeah. Yeah, say he who finds. Yeah, yeah, finds a good thing. I know that's right. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm looking at something that's good. Image, image, image. That's something that the late, great Kevin Samuels used to always talk about. The image that you project is the responses of the perceptions that you receive. Women who dress like hoes and expect the same degree and level of respect will not get the response to the respect that a Charleston White is showing her. Men go out their way to treat women with respectable images with respect. Savannah James, when men ask for a picture, the AI said Savannah James when men ask for a picture, in case you didn't understand it. Okay. Get out my way, she says. Yo, Savannah. Oh. Versus She's when cordial. women ask for a picture. Okay. LeBron got him one. She dresses exemplary, has stellar image. She doesn't go out into the press and besmirch LeBron's name. Shout out to Stephen and Aisha Curry. Yeah, he got him one. And I wish more women took cues from Savannah James than Aisha Curry. And above all, doesn't allow men into her personal space simply out of respect for her husband. Standing ovation. Because think about it, LeBron James is a star. Why would you want a picture with the star's wife? It makes no sense. And she knows that it makes no sense. Average everyday feminists will create a delusional narrative of your superiority, irrespective of you being the one shooting in the gym. Just simply because she's a woman, empowering her to be equals with LeBron, thus empowering her to never be satisfied, thus empowering her to a divorce. You see how it starts? But shout out to Savannah for allowing her husband to be in the limelight and holding him down. Let me break it to you boys. The average 23 year old girl has slept with more men than the average 53 year old woman. Mm. Let that sink in. We're living in a time, and I know this because I'm a, I used to be a teacher for many years, and I couldn't believe the sexual promiscuity amongst 14, 13, 12 year old girls because here's what they had. They had access to Snapchat. Mm. They could send nudes of themselves to older boys or whatever it is from the age of 11, 12 nudes or whatever it is, well, it's technically child pornography. They would start so young and they're living in an era where there's no uh, negativity attached to sleeping around. It's seen as liberating. So by the time a girl is 23 years old, I promise you she slept with more men than a 53 year old woman. Because a 53-year-old woman grew up in a time where she was shamed for sleeping around. There was no sexual liberation. There was a sanctity attached to sexuality. A 22-year-old grew up in a time where Snapchat, twerking, um, you know, wearing promiscuous clothes, going out, being on social media was all normalized. Mm. So if you think that, oh, you know, I'm going to be with a 21-year-old, she's going to have low body count. Guys... What world do you live in? What world do you live in? Many of the negative comments to this video are in the vein of, well, who are the girls sending them to? Thus trying to place the blame on men. That's not the point. And I think there starts this never ending cycle of who to place blame on. The fact is, is that men have never been shamed as much as women for having multiple partners. And the reason for that is because men don't decide on sex. And then also male anatomy is not female anatomy. The point of this video is to highlight that through technological advances and shifts in our media culture, 
women have drastically changed over the past several decades. And now through technology, top men have access to them. And through media, there's no longer a shame mechanism in the bullshit that they do. Fact is, is that the wealth of a culture should be judged by the structural integrity of the women within that culture for their poor decision making. And the fact is, is that the wealth of a society can be judged by the recklessness of the women within that society. That's why promiscuity will be the end of society and why promiscuity should be shamed. Go get surgery because I'm telling you right now. So I am currently on my third day in the hospital. Uh oh. Due to my surgery. Mm. Um, BBL. I have an infection in my body mm. from having plastic surgery, BBL. Oh. Probably a staph infection. So the first video was posted on May 9th. That second video was posted yesterday, June 3rd. Mm. I'm really happy that sis is being transparent and showing y'all the truth behind what she's going through now. So many women are out here promoting getting the surgery, but they're not showing you the complications behind it. As a society, we got to take these signs that God is showing us and leave our bodies alone. Because the truth is, you may not make it or you may make it. First off, shout out to the young feminine women with the gorgeous skin. I call it out because you can always tell the aura of a young woman that sits and rests well within her femininity and she oozes it. But let's get back into the content. BBLs have the highest rate of death of any cosmetic surgery full stop the majority of these young women that are getting these surgeries do not know that you see these instagram videos of these strong and independent women telling other women to go get bbls are as popular as what they are because there's no longer shame in our culture today to project taking fat from one portion of your body which you gain from your lack of control and inserting it into another portion of your body as being powerful is absolutely insane not to mention again the risk of death meanwhile the same young woman will shame a man for getting a hair transplant after losing hair that he has literally no control over interesting don't get this tell me now okay you good Don't get this shit out y'all. This shit hurts. Don't get this shit out. <laughs> Do not get this shit. Do you understand me? You are fine the way the f you are. This shit hurts. <laughs> Don't get this shit. You get this shit. Don't you get this shit hurt so bad. Y'all said y'all wanna see the fuck. Here it is. Don't get this shit.